really clear, particularly over the last week, is that you cannot do this alone. We can have 500 officers on the street, and I so appreciate what Chief Becker and our new chief at Indiana University Northwest and all of the other chiefs who are here today have done, uh, and the members of your departments have done to support, to back up the Gary Police Department. But if we depend only on those who are sworn or even reserve and volunteer officers, then we have lost the battle before we even started. It takes the entire community to address this problem. And you know, we can look at statistics all day long. And we can even say that at this time last year, we had 25 homicides. And we only have 20 today. And while that's progress, as a mother, as a daughter, as a cousin, as a sister, I know and you know that one homicide is too many. And so, that's right. As I got a uh, message yesterday, and uh, I was actually on my way to Indianapolis for the weekend, I got a message saying, I think we have another homicide. And I said to the chief, okay, enough is enough. It is time for the community and law enforcement to come together and make a difference. And I just want to outline preliminarily a variety of ways that we can have an impact. The first thing that we need the community to do is really to get involved in neighborhood watch and block. If you're watching your neighbor's house, then it matters when you see someone walking down the street with a garbage bag the size of a flat screen TV. That's not how they sell them at Best Buy. And so if you see that, you can call the police, they can respond, and we can reduce the number of burglars. So the first thing is to watch your neighbor's back. The second is to know your neighbor, and that's how we do in block mode. The third thing is that if you talk to them, they will tell you, overwhelming majority of them will tell you that they just need something. And so we want to provide alternatives to this. And we're going to start by giving you a list that is a link to the city website of positive alternatives for your young people. Whether it is day camp, whether it's the Boys and Girls Club, whether it is something that Sergeant Bridget, Bridget Kelly and Operation Eball is doing, whether it's something that the YWCA is doing, or some of our churches, the vacation Bible schools. So we need you to send that information to us at City Hall. And you can email it to us, you can call it in, you can email it to M. Coxie. C-O-S-S-E-Y at ci.gary.in.us. And you can also call it in to Joy at 881-1302. Whatever your organization has. And by doing that, we will provide viable alternatives to parents who know Attorney's Office, and uh, we've done a lot of good prosecutions, and uh, I applaud you. Uh, I'm here today to reaffirm uh, our continuing working relationship with the Gary Police Department in the federal system. The principal federal law enforcement agencies, the ATF, the DEA, and the FBI, work daily with the Gary Police Department.